Welcome to Festive Get Together, The Life Artois. My name is Onati and I'm your host. Time is a very, very important thing. Time allows us to bridge gaps, to mend relationships and connect with people we love. The red clock is a reminder of how important time is. It's gonna appear somewhere on the show and when you see it, please connect with us on our Twitter account, on the Stella Artois Twitter account and tell us exactly where you see it. Don't forget the hashtag that pays, which is festive get together. And you could possibly be walking away with a stellar hosting kit. It's game night and it's time for us to have some fun. Today, we've made sure Stephanie and Hungani have made time for each other. I am Stephanie Ndlovu. Hungani M. Ndlovu. I'm about family. I'm about loving life um, and loving life. I'm about creating. Um, I, love, I love the idea of constantly creating, constantly growing. Um, yeah, that's what I'm about, creating. Growing up, I celebrated the, you know, festive time with, I remember lots of food, lots of laughter, family, loads and loads, everyone getting together, um, gifts, just sort of having a good time. It was basically like the time for firstly new clothes, um, but also the time for all-you-can-eat buffets. So yeah, I just remember lots of food, looking fresh, yeah. My favorite go-to festive meal, meat, all meat, roast, lamb, chicken, fish, hang, feet, all of meat. Good chicken stew, something hearty. Um, in fact, like, let me just rather say like as seven, several colors kind of situation. My favorite thing about my relationship that I share with Hungani is that he is my best friend. At some point, we had to break down the walls that one creates just by being in society. So like once we broke that down and really got to be like, okay, so this is who you really are. Um, yeah, that is like priceless. Our chef this evening, Chef D, is here to make sure that tonight's games night goes very smoothly. Hi guys, Kenan Tabiseng Nti Waharamaboa, aka Chef Nti. I'm an award-winning restaurateur, cookbook author, and TV chef. So today I'm cooking for the Ntlovus. So the star for me today is my melt-in-your-mouth brisket. It is amazing. So I hope uh, I really make them proud and happy today. They're an example of young love. Young love that does exist. Young love that loves fully and boldly and oh so proudly. Tonight, we listen and we connect and we're inspired by this wonderful couple, Mr. and Mrs. Nro. Welcome, guys. Thanks Thank for having you. us. How are we? We're good. We're a little bit sleep deprived, but we're going to feed off your energy. How are you finding married life? Married life? Yo. Yeah. Look, I only have one to reference to, which yes. is ours. Yes. So, so far, I'm finding it to be what my parents didn't tell me. Yeah. Um, but I see why they didn't tell me. Oh, wow. And it's the beauty of just um, growing with one another. That's beautiful. Yeah. How do you maintain your individuality whilst, as you were saying, Hungani, mm -hmm. growing as a union, and intentfully so? That is a great question. Oh my gosh, thank you! <laughs> you wanna go for that? <laughs> um, first of all, I think when we met, yeah. it was a conversation we had to have. Yeah. And um, I've always been very independent my entire life. I started working really young. I've always been independent. And I, t I say to him, once we get married and all that kind of stuff, I still want to maintain me as Steph. Yeah. And I know a lot of people, once you get married, you become Hungani's wife. Once yeah. you have a child, you are Mrs. Rula Lovo. Yeah, and you are Rulani's. So I'm like, Rulani's Rulani's my, my name. Yes. You know, and so I fight for that um, I'm happy you individuality. Do. I think that when we entered into this relationship, it wasn't 50, like, he's in 50% and I'm 50% and now we're 100%. It was two 
complete individuals with um, life experiences, different life experiences, because there was a life before Hungani and there was, you know, a life before me. And so I don't think it now should be put aside um, because he completes me or I complete him. No, I think we entered into this relationship already complete individuals. Ditto. I'm not like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so I'm still trying to find the balance between self and us. Because I get That's so... That's such a beautiful, honest moment to have. Yeah. Especially as a man. Hungani. Look, it's so difficult to, in our industry and our landscape, to juggle so many different things and be true to self, yeah. so, so to speak. Yeah. You know, And like the bulk of what we do is us doing it together. Yeah. And like now we're at a place where it's like, how do we still do what we do together, but also do what we want to do individually. Yeah. And for me, like the individual Hungani goals are yeah. somewhat very far away. For now. We're like, yeah, for now. For now. Because it's so much like my daughter, my wife, my, wife. my family. My and work. It's like, yeah, my work is for them. Yeah. It's not even for, for self. <laughs> right. You know, so I'm definitely on a journey to, to rediscovering that and we'll see where, where I land. Through being married, through having a child um, and the various experiences that we've had up until this point where it was like prioritizing my family is so important to me right now and I can figure out self whilst I'm prioritizing family. On your journey, how much, how do you, not even how much, how do you relax together? Play together. I remember so the deep. fun times. Yeah. So they're like, "Who's my assy? Who's going to come on?" <laughs> it's uh, important. Yeah. Again, I think it is just sometimes catching yourself in the busyness of everything and being like, "Like, okay, we are we are scheduling date night. No, we are yeah. scheduling a holiday because." Sometimes you think it has to happen organically. And a lot of the times I think women, you want to be surprised with a getaway. And a lot of the times it's okay for you to be like, babe, I think we need to get away. I think we need yeah. some time for ourselves. Yeah. Um, I've booked us this, you know, I mean, I love that in our, in our marriage, we don't have roles. Like yeah. we are a team. I think okay. it's also think of just making it a priority. Yes. You know, once you realize that the healthier our relationship is, the healthier our parenting will be, the yeah. healthier, just overall, if we're good, everything else will be good. It's so true. we have to prioritize us. It's true. Seeing love in motion is a feeling I cannot express or articulate properly. So I humbly ask you to stay tuned so you can see the connection between Stephanie and Hongani after the break. So we're gonna play a game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you one dice. You each get a time to roll the dice. Mm -hmm. Whatever number comes up, I read. Mm -hmm. It's either a question or an instruction. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Who's going first? Uh, ladies, go first. Mm -mm, you chose them well, mannered. Okay, okay, okay. Am okay, I allowed okay. to stop it? Okay. There we go. Two. Two. Number two. <laughs> oh, what? Who said I love you first? Aww. Right? <laughs> I, I already knew I loved him. It's just by then I had made so many first moves. I was just like, yo, can one thing, you know, be <laughs> your side? <laughs> Three. Oh. <laughs> I <bro. laughs> I want to enjoy this one. Mention three things that your partner cannot stand. Uh, she can't stand untidiness oh. or uncleanliness. Mm -hmm. um, she can't stand lying. She can't stand lack of good communication or rather effective communication. Those are good things. Yeah. Ngani was spot on. And the fact that he said clean, clean, cleanliness is number one. I shim. Yeah. Good. Done. It's my turn. So do double. So we can do double numbers. So it's a one under. And a five, five plus. Seven. 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 Use your best pickup line on your partner. Best pickup line. <clears throat> um, what a pickup line. Are you flawed? 
because he's literally not giving you attention. <laughs> no, he's not. Scary, right? Um, sorry, excuse me. I can't. I don't get any. Sure, sister. My phone just died. Please can you call me an Uber? Uh, oh. uh, I mean, that's a... Uh, that's a bit much. An Uber. Okay. An I'm, Uber. I'm out. Would you... An Uber. An Uber? Then I'm going to get you a number. No, Kanobu. Oh. Now, now you've broken... Now you've broken character. Because then you could have said... Oh, would you rather just drop me off yourself? <laughs> <laughs> this is how pickup lines work. Okay. So, paint scenario for you. You walk by me, and I'll say, "Excuse me, miss. Are you tired? Because you've been running through my <laughs> mind all day." Ooh, bars! Come on, somebody. Right. <laughs> it's got you laughing. <laughs> Would have sat right next to you, buy you a drink. I got you. If you roll a number we've already rolled, we'll just choose another number. Six. Six. All right. So let's see what question number six is saying. In a paragraph, write your partner a love poem. Oh, can I recline? He leans back. How's it going? It's going well. No, it's going well. The confidence, I see it in her face. And also, once the nose itches, it's 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 home. It's a home run. <laughs> it's a home run. Jong mm -hmm. Now she's got the rhythm. Now she's. Oh. I'm just making sure my rhyming is going. You know, A A B B B B. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Mm -hmm. Have confidence in yourself. Sugar is sweet. <laughs> I'm glad God said we should meet. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. I'm glad God said we should meet. Hello. Steph's monologue skills slash poem slash paragraph slash writing A A B B. Don't do it. And you started so well. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, I think they need some work. You know. I'll be honest. Um, I was hoping to be blown away. I was hoping maybe, I would, you know, a tear would drop. I genuinely thought you'd like serenade me at least. I've noticed a beautiful thing that you two do all the time and without even noticing. You're always holding each other's hands. Never stop <laughs> holding hands, okay? Never stop holding hands. Yeah. Ne? The chef and tea is in the kitchen, the ones and twos. Let's see how that's going. Uh, auntie. <laughs> uh, auntie. Welcome to the best of Get Together family. Oh, I'm excited to be here. Serious business while you're here, though. Yes. An important meal that you're preparing. Indeed. Do you have what it takes? Oh, I certainly do. It looks like <laughs> it. Can you take us through your thought process, of please? Of course, of course. I'm making I'm making um, e pasta dish. Oh, lovely. And I'm also making tacos. Okay. But our hero for today is our brisket. It's in the oven. Do we have a brisket for today? We do have a brisket for because today. Because Hungani loves his meat. Definitely. And that's what I was going to ask yeah. you. Are you going to yeah. cater to the fact that he's, 100%, he's, he loves his meat? 100%. And we're going to use this butternut yeah. and tomato to make our sauce. Yeah. So we're not using cream. Okay. We want to keep things nice and healthy. Oh, you know, I, I mean. That. So the meat And shines. thank you for that because I'm lactose intolerant. So thank you for oh, that. It's not listen. about me, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that. We'll catch up with you later. Is that okay? That's okay. Thank yeah. you, Dee. How good at you um, when it comes to putting things together as a couple? As a couple? Yes. I mean, I think we're pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get going. Okay. okay. So as we go along, obviously we're forming like some kind of puzzle. Mm -hmm. yeah. When it comes to family principles, what are the things that you're etching to share together to raise your family as you grow? Um, faith, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely. I love that. Uh, you need to, you know, have something higher than yourself to believe in, otherwise mm -hmm. fail. Oh. Putting the puzzle together was, it was tricky because of having to still be in conversation with Mrs. Unat. Yes, I want to figure out, do you, do you remember where you were here? Yes. yes. We were in Shelly Beach. Uh-huh. KZN. Uh-huh. Okay, now that you've figured it out, yeah, I've hidden some pieces. Yeah! <laughs> where's my head? like we can't put this together already. Where's my head? Where's my head? There we go. 
like she withheld a few pieces which we didn't know which we didn't know so Tricky. so you know as this is so beautiful are we figuring it out now mm -hmm. yeah okay you want to bring that in back this is so beautiful. So sexy. And I see a, a, a COVID mask. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were observing protocol. Wasn't that? How did we get out of that time? I don't know, but but but. We made it. We made it. Honestly. Will you find oh, this place? So yes, we will. That's lovely. It's Aww. beautiful. Are we hungry? We are. Can we go eat, please? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. That was. That was such a beautiful picture, yeah. and it's a um, cute <laughs> man, you guys just man, <laughs> man. man. <laughs>I also have an adopted sister and our relationship is inconsistent. Mm -hmm. How do you advise me? So I think forgiveness, um, initiating conversation mm -hmm. and finding a way to move forward. Yeah. Yeah, would be some step. Is that where we go? And talking about the finger snapping, <laughs> can we keep them going for your sister? Yes, please. Please tell me what she did with her 21st money. She decided to pot some of her money by buying me a PlayStation 3 when I got home, or rather when we got home from the celebration. Yeah. It was on my bed. You're lying to me. Rap. I kid you not. So she gave you it a present on her on 21st. Her day. The love far surpasses just it being sister to sister or sister to brother. It's literally from father, mother to. Chef D, yes, what are you talking about? I'm in. Oh, Look at pasta, this. come. <laughs> come. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Would you like Let's to just say see. hi to my guest, please? Hello. Oh. How are you guys? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. So when I texted you about babysitting... Yeah, no. It wasn't happening. <laughs> what? Are we... Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Please oh, have wow. a seat and join us. Wow. Don't okay. cry now. You're going to make wow. me cry. Don't you wow. So this is my sister. Why are you tearing up? What do you mean, why not? <laughs> yeah, it's wow. only you that's not healing it. <laughs> wow. You look so pretty. Thank you. I need to ask you. You know, mixed families. Families that aren't conventionally the nuclear family. Give us advice on how to treat each other and build and grow and expand and accept each other for who we are. I think it's just all about love, respect. I think it's important to grow up in a family where you have an understanding of where you come from. Yeah. So, I love this woman. <laughs> she always makes me feel so special. She always has my back. And the same thing with my brother. We're really close. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. How does this make you feel? You just, you've just literally rendered yourself Look, silent. <laughs> me and surprises are not friends. Why? I dislike surprises so much. I'm such a control freak. Do you? Yeah. Okay. So I I end up not knowing how to... Respond. Yeah. Um, and I literally just a few seconds ago said, like, I'm very emotional and sensitive. So I do know, like, how much this means to Us. the both of them. Mm. And also she doesn't like to be seen crying. 
but inside, <laughs> there's a no. beautiful waterfall with rocks on the side, with beautiful palm trees, and it's just, it's hailing. As Hungani so nicely put it to the rest of the world that my insides are waterworks, but it's really for me, like, in the moment of things that I'm really shocked and surprised by, um, it will, like, it will, it will, it will, catch up like a few hours later. You guys have just been like doing so many different from the puzzle. Like it's just it's been an over at it's this been an point, overload. I'm like, I don't know what's next. And now you're on your phone. I'm just like Do you recognize that voice? I don't know. That sounded like Trudy. It did sound like Trudy. Will you forgive me? Nah bruh. Oh. Play your video. It's it's yours. Are uh, you guys like emotion on the show? Yeah. Oh. Hi everyone, and especially to you, Hunks. Surprise! Um, I'm just here to pop in to share a special message of love and appreciation to you, and also a short trip down memory lane. Um, you know how much I've loved you and given of myself and whenever I could make you happy I did. Um, memories go back to when you wanted the PlayStation. Ah! I think it's one or two, it's so long ago I don't remember. And I bought it with my savings and you were so excited. You locked yourself in the room and you played for hours and hours on end. And that brought me so much joy. Um, your husband and your father and yet your love for us and the family has remained and for me as a sibling you haven't changed one bit you've just grown stronger and stronger into this amazing human being i'm so proud of you i love you i look up to you as well even though you're younger than me your work ethic is incredible your heart and your honesty are just unmatched so i am so happy to be here this moment to share with you and everyone how amazing you are i love you and have a good day so, that is your Stella moment. And here is your Stella moment. Because we want to thank you. We know how busy you are. We know how important it is for you to build this empire together. And we wanted to thank the both of you for being the family members that you are, but also for being the love that you are for us and for us. I think... Yeah, coming coming today was, I, you know, I thought we were just coming for games. And you know, food. it's gonna be games, it's gonna be food, it's gonna be. <laughs> and then y'all just drop these bombshells of like really getting down to the core of, like she said, who we are and what we believe in. I have one more surprise. I know. I, 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 I have one I, more surprise. No, I promise, no, just one more. No, it's, no. I promise, just, I just, I just want to get it out and over with so that you can enjoy the rest of your meal. Ladies and gentlemen, your family tree. <laughs> Whoa! There's more to the tree. Okay. So, as we know, we basically have this beautiful family tree, right? Mm. From top, and as I said, as the tree grows, it gets higher, but also it gets wider. Mm. So we've left these two open for the family that you are building and the family that you are yet to build. So from us to you, the Globos, Merry Christmas. You have a Christmas tree. It's not often you get appreciated like this on a um, on a public platform outside of people always want to talk about giving you your flowers whilst you're still here. Like it's all good and well, but like, do you really get the essence of who I am and appreciate me for who I am and what I believe in? And you guys really managed to do that in a stellar way. So yeah. Just the season to be jolly. La 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 la. And that's it from us. And just like that, we've reached the end of a beautiful evening and a beautiful season. Over the past few weeks, we've shared each other's company and grace and given each other's hearts to each other with love and tenderness. Thank you for spending time with me and our beautiful Stella family. Your time with us hasn't gone unnoticed. And thank you for being part of our journey every single step of the way. 
as we've been on this journey and have taken time to have great conversations with great food, what we've done is shown you a red clock. Have you noticed where the red clock is? If you have, please follow us on Twitter, our Stella Artois account. And don't forget the hashtag that counts, festive get together. Tell us where you've seen the clock on today's episode and possibly you could walk away with this wonderful hosting kit courtesy of Stella. To our phenomenal guests, thank you. To the soil, Lisejo and Wendy, Lucas and Primo, and of course, Stephanie and Hungani. And from me to you, as we embark on a new journey and welcome a new year, wishing you an infinity of blessings from me or not. Broadcast live.